I want you to look at a picture here and the question mark on the picture, whether you are going to see the leaders in this picture, the one stand from the bottom or is there someone standing on the top and trying to put the people up? Now, here can be the two scenarios. The very first scenario is the one standing on the top and try to pull the people up. When you're looking here, this must be the leader. Leader is the pastor who walk in a church. He cannot walk by himself. And the church leaders also work at a team because the church is the body of Christ. And everyone come together. We walk together serving the Lord. And as a leader, we work in a team. And we call to have the people climbing up on a mountain, achieve some task entrusted in our, in, in our hands. So when you stay in position as a leader, remember helping all the people by pulling them up. And then together on the top, you see that everyone as a team will get on, on the top to achieve the goal together. That's the way it should be. And the second scenario right here, the leader can be someone stand from the bottom right here and try to pour someone down. And this is not the way it should be. As a leader, you should never attempt to pour someone in your team down to put yourself up. That's what a, not a calling. When the Lord Jesus Christ, he came on earth, all his disciples came from the background very simple. And when they walk along with him, and the Lord indeed rising them up, and he said he wanted them to be like him. So that's what we should be in a position that helping the people, not pulling the people down, not to insulting the people, and not to try to disrespect someone and try to help them, try to pull them up, encourage them. So that's what the leaders, as the picture, and when everyone's on the top, this is the way the leader should do. So I put in here, leader is the one who helps his team getting on top, not vice versa, by pulling them down. Now the second things I want to talk about as the leaders, you are will be the one have the gold. Of course, you had a vision, and then you have the gold. You have a plan to how to carry out the gold. And then you have the strategy, how to fulfill the plan all together. But I just want to remind you in the 5A, in the leadership planning, when you plan something and you have to remind yourself, please look through this. Is this plan acceptable? Is this plan affordable? Is this plan achievable? Or uh, this plan abideable, adorable? Yes, if you look into this, acceptable to everyone. When you look into your plan, yeah, you don't expect 100% people accept you, but the majority. Is this affordable? Do you have people? Do you have finance? Do you have resource to carry out? Is this achievable? If it's not achievable, you cannot do it. Is this abideable? Is it going to last long or it won't last? And if you see this one's going to last long, the leader, you have to look for the future. Your plan must be in the future, last long. It's not for the short term. Is this one adorable? And then if it's adorable, that's mean to glorify God, go for it. That's what you should do. And this is the phi letter A. I want to remind you that you should uh, look into this one and you should pay attention on this. And, 
And then the next one I want to talk about the leadership. You look into this one and when you want to make execute some strategy, some changing, some plan or something, I want you to remember the four steps. First of all, you got to inform your team. Don't ever just come in and I want to do this and that. No, first of all, you inform them. And then you have to use the authority to convince the people. Make the people feel convicted. Uh, make the people feel they they want to believe and they, they should do it. That's mean going to persuasion. And then when they believe and they want to do it, there's the time for you to execute your plan, something you want to change, and some strategy you want to your team to working on it. So this is what you should remember in five steps. Don't ever make a change. Don't ever make a plan without information, uh, without convince, without conviction, without persuasion, and without execution. And otherwise, if you come into the step execution, you are going to fail. You won't have a crowd. As a leader, when you don't have a crowd, you fail. That's, I want you to remember 